A common misconception I see in automation is how people add the brakes to their cars. For example, they put like 220mm brakes and add a few pistons for the front and back. When exporting a car to Beeman G and slamming the brakes at like 85 miles an hour, they heat up quickly and begin to fade. You're asking, how can I stop getting brake fades so fast? Well, it's quite simple. In automation, you have a graph that shows the braking force and tire grip. It's okay if you go over the line quite a bit for the front and back of a typical passenger car. The model I'm using for reference is a 2-ton full-sized car. To reduce brake fade, increase the brake size within the mid-300 to like 335 millimeters with the most 3 pistons. For the rear, they don't have to be as large as the front brakes do most of the work. Around 300 millimeters with 2 pistons is fine. You can also experiment with vented disc brakes or carbon ceramics if you want to make it more costly and more effective. Assuming your brakes aren't too powerful, let's test it in BMG Drive. There you go, not as hot as they were, and they won't fade that easily. 